Hi and welcome to my maths class. Today we're going to do the theorem that states the sum of the first n terms of a geometric series is as follows. Sn is equal to a which is your first term open brackets 1 minus r which is your ratio to the power of n number of terms over 1 minus r. Now if you look at the two equations they are slightly different but in actual sense mathematically they are not different. What they have done here is they have taken out a negative. So if I take out a negative this swaps but immediately I have taken out a negative here so this swaps and the two negatives create a positive. So the two equations are exactly the same and it doesn't really matter which one you use when you are working with geometric series you will always end up with the same answer. Go with what you are comfortable and it will be fine. Now how do we prove it? We know that Sn is equal to A plus AR plus AR squared. Now this, this concept how I am getting A plus AR plus AR squared is exactly how you had done it in your arithmetic proof where if you had Tn, Tn is equal to AR to the power of n minus 1. In arithmetic you had it as Tn is equal to A plus n minus 1d. How am I getting A? I am substituting 0. How am I getting AR? I am substituting 2. How am I getting AR squared? I am substituting 3. Then we could go on and eventually our last term would be AR to the power of n minus 1. Exactly like your arithmetic. Now comes the difference. What I am doing is I am going to multiply this with R. Now if I multiply this with R, it means I must multiply with R across the board. So I am going to multiply that with R, I am going to multiply that with R. And look what happens. This A times R gives me AR. This AR squared gives me AR squared. So what is happening is we are leaving the first one blank. That's what we're doing. We're leaving a blank spot there. But then we're simply copying down the same thing. So each one is giving the exact same answer. So this specific number that was here would give me a r to the power of n minus 1. But because we continue, you have to continue to the last number. So a r n minus 1, what it would give me is a r to the power of n. Can you see? Because if I say n minus 1 and I am timesing it by an r, based on your exponent rules, a r n minus 1 times r to the power 1, the exponent rules, the powers add, so I am left with a r to the power of n. So what we have done is we have multiplied it with r and r ended up being exactly the same as all the others. The only thing that was different is we missed the first one and the last one we now have is a r to the power of n. So now we have r s n. That is what this line is equal to. So what we are going to do now? We are going to say, remember this r we had done it and we had put it in here. So the answer we have written at this level. Yeah. Okay. Alright. So we have written the answer for R S N on this row. Now what we are going to do is we are going to say S N minus R S N. So I am going to take the top line basically and I am subtracting the bottom line. Now if I take the top line and I subtract the bottom line at this level here at the very first one I have A minus nothing which simply gives me a and then a r minus a r is going to cancel a r squared minus a r squared it's going to cancel but look at the last one what is here on top a zero so i have zero minus a r to the power of n so zero minus a r to the power n gives me minus a r to the power of n now if we take out a common again it's about factorizing if I take out a common a, I am left with 1 minus r to the power of n. And then at sn, I take out sn as a common and I am left with 1 minus r. Now I want to get sn alone, so I divide by 1 minus r. And what you do on one side, you do on the other side. So we have sn is equal to a into 1 minus r 
to the power of n over 1 minus r, which is what you were asked to prove. Why do we have the restriction r may not equal to 1? Because if you put r is equal to 1, you're going to have 1 minus 1, which is 0, which is undefined. If you want to prove this proof, then the work is exactly the same. But instead of saying Sn minus Rsn, you'd actually say Rsn minus Sn. So what we're doing is we're saying 0 minus A, and then we're subtracting everything. So we'd have 0 minus A, which is minus A, and Ar to the power of n minus 0, which is a positive Ar to the power n. Then we take out a common A, and if you take out a common A, you have r to the power of n minus 1. And here, if we take out a common Sn, we'd have it as r minus 1. And then divide by r minus 1, divide by r minus 1, which will give us the second proof. So it doesn't matter which one the department asks you. You must just remember that if they're giving you the 1 first, then you're going to say Sn minus Rsn. But if they give you the Rn first, then you're going to say the Rn first. Okay? Thank you for watching.